So in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the background in Canva. So we have a photo, that same uh, sunflower photo we used in the first video. Uh, again, the link will be in the description. So we scaled and cropped last time. This time we're going to use what's called the fuzzy select tool. So it's in our top row of tools. It kind of looks like a magical wand. Uh, we can come down to our toolbar down here. And what this tool does, it allows you to choose a color within the picture and then remove that color from that picture. Now, you can see my uh, threshold in this is 77.2. Uh, again, that's the RGB val values out of 255. So as you'll see, if I control Z it, and I choose a smaller selection like 14, as I choose that blue and then I hit my delete button to remove, uh, it only chooses the colors within it within 14 uh, points of our value that we're selecting on the screen. Uh, again, I'll control Z that. I'm gonna increase my value. I'm gonna choose that same blue. And what you're gonna notice is we're starting to remove more. Now you can notice because the greens in here were within 104 uh, of that RGB value, uh, now we're removing those. And if I max this sensor all the way out, I'm gonna select, and because we're within 255, because RGB colors uh, in computer coding is one through, or zero through 255, I've now chosen to remove all. So as you're exploring and using this tool, uh, a couple things that I would use. I would use the feathering edges. Uh, again, this is in pixels, so it kind of gives you when you're doing the Photoshop a more of a rounded edge so you don't have those crisp lines where people can just say, yes, that was Photoshopped. Uh, the other thing that we're going to do here is we're going to choose a value. And you're going to notice I'm going to choose a moderate value. We'll go right around in the 40s. I'm going to select that blue, hit my delete. I'm going to go around, select another blue, hit my delete delete, delete, and I can kind of pick that. Now, I might have chosen a different value uh, to be a little bit cleaner on this, uh, but I can use my eraser tool here. You can see it here. I can change the size of my eraser here as well, and uh, the hardness of my eraser, uh, we can change here. We can make that uh, a little bit harder, uh, which would allow me to, let me close that out. Uh, right here, choose the hardness of my eraser so I don't have to keep clicking uh, to remove that. So I'm going to get out of the fuzzy select tool here, hit my escape button, and actually I need to come up here and say select none. Now I can use that eraser. And you can see I have a large eraser to kind of clean up the edges on this. Uh, as we can see here, uh, I can come here to shrink that size of that eraser to remove. Now, between the fuzzy select tool and your eraser, uh, it's really up to you of how much background you're going to move in. So I've zoomed in here. I can shrink my eraser even smaller. And the quality of your Photoshop is really going to come down to is how much time you're spending getting the background out. Like you can see, I could really have to get my eraser in pixels small to kind of get in there and clean it up. Now I know because I'm zoomed in, this looks uh, really large and it's easy to pick out those. But if I go to my 100% of this, uh, again, not the best job there, but when I put a background behind it, it might be better. Uh, so it's again, it's something to play with as you do this. I'm going to control Z and actually I'm just going to open up that original one. Open up the original one again. So it really comes down to how well you choose that fuzzy select tool and finding that right value where you can get a large amount of the background out in a couple clicks and then using a small eraser to kind of clean up here. And we would just come in and either try to zoom in and select. is an option or clean up with that eraser so when we look at something at 100% or 50% it becomes hard to see that there's any background there.